What up YouTube, Digital here, and here is my big honking power supply. It's a pyramid, regulated, keyword regulated, always regulated, power supply, output 13.8, model number PS-86KX, um, depending on where you go, four to five hundred chipped. This is a very heavy unit. We're talking, I don't know, about 50 pounds, maybe more. Uh, it runs about 13.8 uh, volts. It's hard to tell because the lights are on. But uh, you can see where it's, it's angled at right now. Let me turn it off. You'll see it start dropping. So you see... Uh, that's uh, 15 volts right there. I just put those lights in the other day because normally when you're looking at it from here, it's like that and you can't see. But the lights help out a lot. It does look like they're overly bright, but that's the camera. Uh, they actually look good. Uh, that's the amps. That right there will tell you zero. Straight up and down is 40. 60 and then 90 this thing should pop right at 90 amps i think it is but uh this has been modified a little bit it's probably more around between 90 and 100 um in the front like i said it has banana plugs so you can get these type of plugs where you put this that they have um this kind of tip they plug straight in right here there's no lock on them, so they come, they come in, they come out real easy. And this type here, you can actually put in another banana. You can kind of stack them, or you loosen that bolt. You put a wire through there, and you tighten it back up, and it'll hold, it'll hold the wire down like that. So. These are great, but unfortunately, they don't, they don't lock. Behind that, you can actually twist these, and there is a little hole. Um, let's see, that one's a little... Oh, here we go. This one goes straight down. Let me see here. You can see a little hole right there. So you put the wire through and then you tighten it down and the wire ain't going to go nowhere. Now we're going to double check this with my, my voltage. Now like I said, this is 13.8. Uh, 13 so it should stay, especially no load on it right now, it should stay steady as could be at 13.8 here I'm putting a probe in the hole tightening this down like I told you you could do before it's holding it in now I'm doing it to the positive let's find the hole there it is so this one the hole is that way okay says 13.8 let's move this to that's 20 volts DC oh, there we go 13.88 that's good that's uh, actually really good so the if um, this part right here moves around that's fine as long as those those two numbers pretty much stay solid so I should keep at this rating, you know, for at least 80 amps before it falls off. And again, uh, this unit here is about 400 to 500, depending on where you buy it. It will not have blue lights. Those are an addition I made. Um, and um, there's going to be like a $50, $50 shipping because this thing is... I mean, it's really, it's really heavy. It is rack mount, but I mean, you got to be serious about it. it it's no joke. 
Um, if you're running it hard, they do have fins on the side. You can add a fan here to this set and a fan here to this set. And again, there's, there is a stock fan on this side. And there's fins on this side too for all the transistors. The same thing. You should add a fan, a 120 millimeter fan, you know, to each one of these. And then again, like I said, you have one in the back. You also have these lugs in the back. As you can see, this one's negative, this one's positive. You just put your uh, your wire here. Use an eye loop. Let me show you an example. Um, either way, like one of those or one of these. This is just on a little 8 gauge. You take the, the nut off. And you slide one of the washers off. You put that on. You put the other washer on so you're sandwiching in it. You're sandwiching a deal in between the two washers and you tighten it down. And again, you want it to like, you don't want these to touch each other. You don't want this to touch the base because I mean, this is high voltage. You don't want any of that crap happening. So you got to be very careful that nothing, you know, touches this. Um, and the stop fan is right here 120 millimeter get another fan here here's a straight up on that but uh yeah so here we go but uh these things aren't toys 100 amps do not open that do not open the case and try to do anything inside Unless you know what you're doing. This thing is not fucking around. If you touch the wrong wire, it will kill you. Or throw your ass across the room. If you touch those positives and negatives together, not only will you probably short that unit out. And that would be 500 bucks down the drain. But it will be one hell of a flash. I mean, we're talking enough power. This That transforming, uh, the transformer in there... It's probably off of a, a, you know, a big welding unit. I mean, this is about as big of a, a power supply you can get and still work on 110. Usually, getting into this big, you need to go into uh, the 220 range. So, uh, if you have any questions, definitely let me know below. Uh, you can get smaller units than this, and I recommend getting... A smaller unit because this thing is like a thousand I think if I remember if I did the calculations right it's like running a thousand watt light bulb so um, or a 500 watt light bulb I have to do the calculations it does eat the power so um, easiest way to tell how much you need is look at the fuse of the device and probably add another 20% so if it's a 5 amp fuse in your radio get a 7 amp power supply or the wattage if you're looking at amp it's a 300 amp divided by 10 and uh, 30 amps and that's good it'll give you enough headway for for um, expansion and stuff like that but uh, my 10 minutes are up I'll do another video after I get things set up about more what things you can do with these cool